So in this video, you guys are going to see some amazing Dutch documentation that was randomly handed to me at the Foxtoberfest car show last month, which I am super excited to share with you guys. So stay tuned because this is a pretty amazing little package. What's up guys and welcome back to the infamous project we're down here in texas and we will be for the next little while i think in terms of content there's maybe one video left from the dark emerald green car in terms of alignment and the last few little button up items but other than that you will be seeing content of what you see behind me here on this garage now i know i haven't had too many project-based videos lately but those are coming i promise you because I've already started filming the project of the lightning behind me here. And if you look close in the background, there's a motor sitting on the floor. There's a brand new rebuilt motor sitting on the stand. And we are in the midst of getting this new freshly rebuilt motor put back in the truck so that we can get this thing on the road. And I really want to enjoy that truck. Some of us would know how handy it is to have a truck, especially when you're a car guy, you need to get parts. You want to just throw stuff in the back and well, you want to look cool while you're doing that. So that is coming guys. I promise you that it's just been so busy getting down here. We got Thanksgiving here around the corner. We got guests visiting and everything else. So trying to get enough wrench time in has been a little bit of a challenge. You guys are also going to see more of this twin turbo coyote coupe that's sitting here and we got the 93 cobra in the background there's lots of great stuff but what i wanted to share with you guys today was probably to me one of the most important parts of the foxtoberfest 2021 car show now some of you guys might think oh it was all the amazing fox bodies or maybe it was the people that i met all of those things were awesome. In fact, one really cool thing was the podcast that I did with some other fellow YouTubers at the Mustang Owners Museum, uh, hosted by Steve Hall, who is the owner of the museum. And we had a really good discussion about car shows and more specifically, kind of the older crew, the older crew that you would see at Mustang Club of America events and what does the secession plan or how can us as influencers help the younger crowd get into those types of shows and maybe not feel so isolated or maybe left out and everything else. We know that the older we get, the more stuck in our ways we are and not always susceptible to change. So really good discussion. The podcast went live last week. I'm going to put the link down in the description so you guys can check that out. And I think you're going to be seeing or hearing more podcasts from me here in the near future. So watch out for that. Going into what I want to talk about to you today is just something that's purely awesome. So as you might or might not know, I had the 1993 Tip Dutch Coupe at the show with me. So it was sent from here in Texas over to North Carolina for the show. I haven't washed it since it's got back yet, although the camera probably makes it look fine. But <laughs> this was the only car. The last time in 2018, uh, the strawberry car was there as well. Um, I actually had the Lightning there um, with me as the uh, parts hauler uh, as well. But anyways, it was just this car. It was the best that I could do with the short-term notice and logistics and everything else. So. It was getting closer to the end of the day and I had this gentleman walk up to me and he said, I think you might want this. And this is what I'm gonna show you. This envelope right here sitting on my workbench. And we're gonna go through this envelope. So if you look really closely, you can see it came from Dutch Motorsport. We're gonna go through this envelope and I'm gonna show you exactly what is inside here. All right, guys, here we are. Going to go through everything that we got in here. Show you guys what we got. So, first things first, guys an address letter to the gentleman dated January 16th, 1991. And this is a very personalized letter um, that's outlining 
interest in purchasing a Dutch Mustang. And you can see it's signed in ink by Derek Hansen himself. And what I'll do is I'll just read this out to you guys and um, you guys can hear it firsthand. So it says, it is with great pride that we present to you the Dutch Mustang, an upmarket high performance sports car combining the feel and performance of the finest exotics with the functionality and build quality of the legendary Mustang. To become a Dutch, the Mustang LX5 liter undergoes an exciting metamorphosis. In order to meet our customers' expectations of superior road holding, the suspension components are enhanced and the wheels and tires are upgraded. The engine is recalibrated to yield 250 horsepower with improved economy and the interior is fitted with new seats and shift linkage with leather knob. These enhancements will result in a remarkably refined and comfortable ride with substantial increase in handling. The exterior modifications consist of an extensive aerodynamic tuning system specifically designed for this car. The Dutch has been displayed at the Toronto International Auto Show for the past four years and has been the primary focus of the company since 1985. This has resulted in a fully developed vehicle receiving favorable press reception, satisfied owners, and many track successes. The Dutch Mustang is a limited production, clearly differentiated product combining the virtues of real handling benefits, a very attractive appearance, an exclusive luxury interior, Ford's quality enhanced by the finest international components available. The car is now marketed through select dealers. We invite you to pursue the enclosed information and if desired, would be eager to discuss and personally show the Dutch, a high performance sports car of major international caliber. Yours truly, Derek Hansen. All right, guys, so how freaking cool is it that he's kept this this whole time and to have this? So inside here, there were some uh, clippings, and um, you could see Derek was really good about legal things. If you look at the top of this printout, it says reprinted with the kind permission of Formula Magazine. So here is an article um, about the Dutch way back in the day, and... Um, I like this, what's highlighted right here. Derek Hansen's cars are probably the best Mustangs ever and best friends to many enthusiasts in search of affordable and dependable high performance. So what I'll do is I have all these on the Dutch Motorsport website that uh, I've since been looking after and put out there for everyone to get more information about Dutch. So I'll link to these articles in the description of the vi video below. Down here, we have another article. Um, this was the Toronto Star uh, back in September of 1989. So street legal staying may shock a Porsche owner. Now I've showed some uh, pictures of these on the Instagram uh, page for Detch. And it was a gentleman who had a couple and he had sent me some of these a couple years ago and it was very kind of him. And now I'm fortunate enough to have a couple more on my hands. And I actually want to reprint some of these um, for anybody who's interested. And uh, now that I have enough high quality ones, I think that I can get these, you know, reproduced just for not that you can buy all of um, a brand new Dutch Fox body again, but, you know, just to kind of have because it's cool Fox body history right here. So if you open this up, it's like a big foldable brochure. Again, I'm going to link to these. Um, I have them all as PDF on the Dutch website. So if you can see here, this is pretty much the Dutch number five car, right? So Simmons wheels, the aero kit. The only thing difference here is it actually has the Dutch AFD one spoiler, I believe. Um, so it's open here. It's kind of almost like a GT wing. It doesn't have the stacked wing, uh, like you would see on the strawberry car over there. But other than that, you can see the Recaro flow fit seats. You can see the Momo Monte Carlo steering wheel. And this is a leather shift knob. So this is probably before the Nylatron one that Dutch later introduced. So this is the one side of the brochure. And then we can flip it over. And then this is kind of more the technical side of things. You can actually even see Derek here in his lab coat uh, doing some analysis on the suspension here. And... Everything here, it's telling you what Dutch offered and what they did and everything about the engine 
and everything else. A torque power, the drivetrain, uh, the different gear ratios, shifters they used, and what do we got here? Top speed, 240 plus kilometers an hour. So there's actually different stages, and I'm going to show you a different brochure that outlines this stuff. But this is a really nice and super cool uh, piece to have. And I was thinking, you know, if I got two of these, um, then I could offer them, uh, you know, one above the other, you know, one one side like this, and then one on the other side. So super cool, right? Man, this stuff is just awesome to go through. Now, the one thing that really excited me about this little, uh, I guess, gift package that I received is, uh, well, there's another clipping. I think uh, the gentleman who received the package, he had this clipping and he added it to the bunch for me. So you can see that's actually a coupe. Hot horse from the cold north. And on the back side, we have a hatch here. Now this is the super cool stuff. So Dutch actually went through and they would release what are called these consumer orientation releases where they would talk about all of their different products that they were releasing and what would be available in the market. And I've never had these in a hard copy. I've only found the scans online. So this first one, for instance, is about the airfoil design rear wing. And if you actually look close, it's a stacked wing, much like SVO style to a certain degree, with the center piece right up the center. I have never seen this wing in person. So if any of you out there have this wing, um, please contact me. I would love to get my hands on one or at least see one. You can see here, he would actually put in all of the uh, formulas and um, give you all of the tech he had a PhD in uh, uh, fluid dynamics, I believe, and everything that he did, he would get wind tunnel tested um, in terms of the body kits and anything aero designed as uh, I believe he worked closely with uh, the University of Toronto and had access to the wind tunnel there. So here is consumer orientation release three. This is actually the springs. And these are the first set of springs that Dutch released that were a little bit softer. With the SN95s, they released a second version that were stiffer, upwards of um, 1,000 pounds per inch. And these ones here that they had offered um, earlier in the day were a high performance, and then they had a competition. So they were um, dynamic spring rates, so they weren't static across um, the, uh, the whole spring, you can see here on the front, they started at 390 pounds per inch, ended at 555. The competitions were 512, ended at 685. And similarly, um, a similar ratio uh, was in the rear springs, just not as much. So you can see here the formula uh, to get all of this information is, uh, is also in the release. Here's consumer orientation release four. So they had different types of braking setups and solutions. And if you look at this one right here, this guy is actually the Willwood setup that is on the number five car. So it actually was uh, a setup that could bolt on to your existing hub and would give you a floating rotor setup in the front, which is super cool. So again, just awesome, awesome stuff. Here's orientation release number six. So this is actually outlining everything that you could get. So this was the catalog uh, for Dutch parts. So you could see here the availability of aerodynamics. You could get the Dutch kit, which was the front air dam, side skirts, rear valance, the different types of wings, AFD one, which is that stackable, or not stackable, the two tier wing, AFD two, which would be the open underneath wing and then the AFD three, which is actually the stack wing. So that's actually how it goes. So remember that here are the brakes and the different types of options you had. Brembo calipers and rotors as on the Ferrari F40. Super cool. Derek actually, I believe worked with the Ferrari race team at one point too. So in the engine components, you know, they'd use Canon air filters, upgrade your throttle bodies, 
uh, port your intakes. Uh, you had the option for GT40 intakes, dart cylinder heads if you wanted, your roller rocker options, headers, Dynamax exhaust, Paxton superchargers, or Vortex supercharger. Racewear, you had everything. You could see they worked closely with Bell. You had helmets, gloves, suits, shoes, everything. Seating, tons of Recaro options, whether you wanted the Turbo Sportline modular system, locking rails, heavy duty brackets for when you were on the racetrack. There's that Momo Monte Carlo steering wheel like you would see in the number five car. And then underneath suspension, you got the different spring rate options, strut tower mount, you have the stiffening member bar, uh, kind of like your uh, G-load brace, Kony shock absorbers. Now, the interesting thing about Kony is that Dutch actually had Kony valve their struts and shocks specific to the requirements that Dutch wanted to use. And here you can see the pan hard bar, which I do have. I never got that in the white coupe, right? Uh, but later on was the ASG system, like what's in the silver car and what's in Dutch number five. And then here's all the different wheel and tire options you could get. Everything from the CSA Diplomats, and then you have the Simmons options, and then your tires. And a couple more accessories, hats, golf shirts, and turtlenecks, which were cool back in the 90s. So here we go, another article. And that kind of wraps up this little uh, Dutch Care gift package. So there we have it, guys. Pretty cool, right? And I really wanted to share this with you because the other thing that I'm working and hoping to accomplish by 2022 is to actually do a little bit of a Dutch documentary. Wish Derek was still around to be able to do it. I think he probably wouldn't have allowed me to do it just because, well, he was Derek. And for anybody of you who know Derek will understand what I mean when I say that, but I would love to assemble all of the information, all of the Dutch parts, some of the Dutch cars, and most importantly, some of the Dutch enthusiasts out there. So if you guys were close to Dutch or have any information and or parts or anything that you would like to potentially share for a Dutch documentary, please reach out to me and you can do so at info at the infamous project.com. And it's something that I hope that I can get done sooner than later because I think all of this information really needs to be out there and shared. And I hope that this video uh, for anybody who wasn't sure what Dutch was, this can kind of give you a little bit of context to show you that Dutch just wasn't a fly-by-night company or just some random, you know, weird-looking Mustang that was up in Canada. It was actually a super, super cool car. And you can see why it was so important to me to actually restore the Dutch number no. 5 car, knowing that that car was owned by Derek before the Ford dealer got it and then was sold to the first owner was just a super cool piece of history to have and on all of the dutch brochures you know it would be awesome if this was the dutch number no. five car uh but i know it's not but it looks like the part when you think of dutch mustang you think of these old brochures and you see what essentially is the number no. five so super cool again thank you guys so much for your support and following along I know this was a little bit different flavor of video, but just trying to switch things up and keep you guys informed and uh, trying to deliver amazing content to you guys. So we will be getting back into projects, I promise. I hope that everyone has a super great Thanksgiving. I know you guys north of the border have already celebrated, but uh, down here, everybody is going to be feasting on some amazing food and spending time with friends and family maybe turn in a couple wrenches in the garage on the weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Dutch documentation overview and just going through everything that was in that envelope. And I have to say thank you again to the gentleman who had this and just handed it over. It could have been copies. He could have been like, hey, look what I got, but you know, you can't have it. Um, simply amazing.